Welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving deep into securing your Linux system using SysCTL or System Control. If you care about network security and want to harden your system against attacks, this video is for you. Stick around as we go through SysCTL configurations, explaining each setting in detail and how to apply them permanently. Let's get started. SysCTL, short for System Control is a powerful tool that allows us to modify kernel parameters at runtime. These parameters control various aspects of the system, including networking behavior, security settings, and resource limits. You can view and modify these parameters using the sysctl command or by editing configuration files. In this video, we will focus on networking related parameters that enhance security. By tweaking these settings, you can protect your system from IP spoofing, SEN flood attacks, ICMP based attacks and more. Before making changes, let's briefly discuss the key threats we are protecting against. 1. IP spoofing IP spoofing is a technique where an attacker fakes the source address of packets to disguise their identity or bypass security filters. Preventing this helps block malicious traffic. 2. SYN flawed attacks. SYN synchronize is the first packet in a TCP three way handshake, which is how two computers establish a connection. In SYN flawed attack, an attacker sends a large number of SYN packets but never completes the handshake, consuming system resources and making the server unresponsive. 3. ICMP based attacks ICMP Internet Control Message Protocol is used for network diagnostics but attackers exploit it for ping floats or redirect based attacks to manipulate traffic flow. Before making changes, it's important to check the current settings. Use the following command to see the existing value of a parameter. sysctl space and the parameter. Here net.ipversion4.conf.all.rp underscore filter. This tells us the current setting. Now let's make some security improvements. To ensure our changes persist after a reboot, we create a configuration file in slash etc slash sysctl.d. The file must have a .conf extension. For example, here we created a file network-security.conf. Now let's add our security settings. Now let's open the configuration file we created to add our security settings. Here we enable reverse path filtering. Reverse path filtering checks if incoming packets arrive from an interface that matches the system's routing table. If not, they are dropped, preventing IP spoofing. Disable source routing. Source routing allows senders to define the path packets take through a network, which attackers can exploit to bypass security measures. Disabling this enhance security. Enable TCP synchronize cookies. A synchronized cookie is a security mechanism that helps mitigate Synchronize flawed attacks by allowing the system to continue processing connections even when resources are limited. Increase TCP synchronize backlog. Increasing this value ensures that the system can handle more half open connections before rejecting new ones, helping to prevent Daniel of service attacks. Ignore ICMP broadcast requests. This setting prevents the system from responding to ping requests sent to broadcast addresses, reducing the risk of network scanning and ping flawed attacks. Ignore bogus ICMP error responses. Avoid unnecessary logging of invalid ICMP responses. 
reducing log file clutter and preventing attackers from causing log overflow. Disable ICMP redirect acceptance. ICMP redirects can be exploited for man-in-the-middle attacks. Disabling them ensures your system doesn't accept malicious route changes. Disable secure ICMP redirects. Even secure redirects have limited use cases and could be exploited. It is best to disable them unless absolutely required. Disable sending ICMP redirects. If your system is not acting as a router, it should not send ICMP redirects. This prevents accidental network misconfigurations or attacks. Disable IP forwarding. By default, systems should not forward IP packets unless they are routers. Disabling forwarding adds an extra security layer. On latest OpenSUSE Leap, all forwarding are disabled by default. After saving the configuration file, Apply the changes with the following command sysctl space dash dash system. This reloads all sysctl configurations, ensuring your settings take effect immediately. We have successfully hardened our Linux system against common network attacks using sysctl. These tweaks enhance security while maintaining system functionality. If you found this video helpful, Give it a like and don't forget to subscribe for more Linux security content. See you in the next one and thanks for watching.